Hi, I'm Amelia Fox with Mississippi State University's College of Ag and Life Sciences, Plant and Soil Sciences. In our program, we teach aeronautical training for unmanned or what is now called uncrewed aircraft. We have ag remote sensing courses, ag flight courses, uh, Part 107 certification, and drone fabrication. And in our program, we have a wonderful helper. His name is Eric Windham. He's our pilot trainer this year. Like Dr. Fox said, my name is Eric Windham. I'm from Northeast Louisiana, a little town called Pioneer. Um, I'm a sophomore here at State, and I am studying agronomy with a concentration in integrated crop management. Well, Eric, we're back at it again. We're going to do some flying here today with quadcopters. And uh, they're fairly new to you, so I'll be walking you through some of the maneuvers. One of the interesting things about these inexpensive quadcopters is they sometimes come with the wrong instructions. So I was able to go online and you find the right instructions and laminate them in big enough print that students can appreciate them. I'm going to hand you those instructions for the startup of this quad. And what we're going to be flying today here is a Holy Stone, a Holy Stone quadcopter. Now I have colored this Holy Stone copter red in the front and green in the back. We say red is dead. And even on the top of it here, I said open the back first. Well, that would be green. I'm going to open the green legs first and open the red legs second and the reason we say red is dead is anytime an aircraft is within 15, 15 to 50 feet of you and you see that bright red that bright red indicates that the aircraft is pointing at you and we never bring an aircraft home from that position we always turn it so that the green is facing us green is go and we bring an aircraft home backwards and that's logical because our switches or our sticks that we use to control the aircraft if the aircraft misbehaves as it comes closer and closer to us we can push the aircraft away but if it's coming to us if the aircraft is flying towards us we actually have to pull the aircraft away to get get it to move away from us. So that's, that's why we stop an aircraft out 50 feet, turn it around, bring it home green. All right, there's no battery in this aircraft at this time. There's a camera in the front, but I've got battery all charged and ready to go. This battery can't be read on a voltage meter, but it will be read across the, the Wi-Fi once we um, initiate, initiate the aircraft and get it flying. So I'm just gonna make sure that it has a good tight fit. The aircraft is off, it's safe to touch. It's okay that these uh, props spin around like that. I'm going to point it towards north when I do a startup. And right here we have a transmitter that comes with the Holy Stone. This is a two, three hundred dollar aircraft, but it has a nice camera on it, flies real well. So once you take a look at the, the chart here, and what it's going to tell us is in order to pair this transmitter, my phone, to that copter, I need to push the unlock key and turn, turn the transmitter on. Now I need to use a long short press here. And if the aircraft is not oriented to north, which I can tell it is, I would do a spinning routine where I spin the aircraft three times this way. and then three times this way to help it orient to the GPS. But I could tell it was already oriented because the lights weren't flashing. Now, we have an aircraft that's ready to talk to, but my cell phone is not on. And what I need to do with my cell phone is enter into my cell phone, bypass my, my lock, get into my settings, and make sure that the Wi-Fi setting has connected to the Holy Stone. And I just go to my connections and it shows right there, the Holy Stone is connected. I can close out of that and there is an Ophelia Go app. All I have to do is click enter device and answer yes to any questions that it wants to make sure I've secured my aircraft. And I can actually wave my hand down here and see myself. Isn't that neat? So you'll notice that looking at this transmitter, I have six satellites now. Previously, I had zero. So I have six. Now, this aircraft's not going to be ready to fly until I get to 15. I have 10 now. Let's, uh, let's, 
we can reorient it now. We don't have to have it north. We just do that to help it uh, get a grip on its GPS reality. Okay. But uh, we have 11 now, and we're getting close to where this aircraft would be safe to fly. Uh, they say they want you to have 13. I could actually raise my phone up here and and uh, hope that more, there's 12, you know, and more and more, we could even step back a little bit and let the, let the aircraft do its work. When we hit 13, we're pretty safe to go. We're almost there. Oh, we're at 15 now. Now, the aircraft is ready to fly. We would never fly this close, but I'm just for an mistake, I want to show you that this aircraft goes into idle the moment you unlock it. Now, if I just leave it, it will lock itself again. Just give it a moment, and it shuts down again. Now it has relocked itself. I have 15, uh, 15 satellites, and this aircraft is ready to fly.